made it this far. We're gonna be okay. Alright guys, welcome back to State of Decay 2. I want to thank everybody who has supported this series for watching, commenting, liking. Very much appreciate it. You make this what it is. Give it a purpose, so thank you so much. Um, so the sole purpose of this episode is we're on day 98. We're almost up to 100 days survived. Um, just to finish off this Plague Heart from Hell up here and get revenge for Lindsay. Now, if you're wondering why I'm already in a outpost, it's because I briefly started this episode... And uh, my internet was going really bad, so I decided to just reset my modem and get it going again. So, didn't, so nothing really happened. I just kind of drove over here. Um, so we're on our way. We're with Maddie. We're sending in the big guns, Maddie and Miguel, to go to go get this done. The only two originals that we have left. Actually, these are the two originals. If you remember, when the series started, it was these two that we picked. And they're still alive. And maybe I'm risking by sending them in to this Plague Heart to finish it off, but I feel like they can do this. You know, I feel like that we're going to get this done. She's got her big shotgun. We should be okay. I may stop off there to see if they have anything for trade. Actually, I'm going to go there first just to see if they have anything for trade that we might want to use in the fight. Um, and a reason why I'm, another reason why I'm here is I do want to grab one or two things. I mean, I put a box mine down last time. It didn't work. We all know how bad that Molotov throw was, so... I don't know what to do here. I mean, I'm going to grab some more Molotovs. A grenade. And another box mine. Just because I feel like I can't fail twice with those. But knowing me, I probably will. But here we go. So, looks like the stream's up and running. Had some weird problems with Twitch. Trying to stream today. But I reset everything. So far, it looks like it's going pretty good. So here we go. Plague Heart from Hell. Let's go take care of this thing. That is the main purpose of this episode here, guys. So now we gotta go... There. Taking this right. Oh, we are, we are gonna take this right. I never know where I'm going in these games. I could drive around these maps for a thousand days and I still wouldn't know where I'm going. And I'd still be running over every sign and every fence. Oh! I did craft a few bolts too, so in case you're wondering why that number went up, I did craft a couple of those. Because I do have a bolt uh, crossbow with me to try and sneak into the Plague Heart, like we usually do now. Don't want to stir up too much trouble right away. Alright. Remember, we came over here last episode and there's just hordes all over and just freaks all over the place. Clint was there, I was really worried about. Luckily he's okay. How do I get to this? Peel it off. Alright. 
Sorry about that. So, uh, someone just came to the door. My apartment delivering some packages for my roommate. So I went to go get him off the uh, front front uh, porch here, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so they weren't sitting outside all night because she's at work late. So thank you, Ghost. Welcome back to you as well. <laughs> all right. So this is not. Wait a minute. I thought they had like a house, didn't they? They didn't have a campsite. This isn't the people that were there before. Cavefish? Deli? Who are these people? Catch you later. Who are they? I don't even know who these people are. Good to see ya. Cavefish? You got something for me? Yeah, sure. Can we trade with cavefish? Probably want some more meds too, just in case, right? Although we don't have room for that. You know what, we're going to trade our snacks for the energy drinks. And then we have, yeah, we got Deli and Cavefish. I love the names in this game. I want this guy on our, uh, oh shoot, no, I didn't mean to do that. I want this guy on our, on our, our community, Cavefish. <laughs> uh, do they need help with something or what? I don't remember them being here. Medics are like in bad situation down there. I could have sworn there was another enclave over here in like a building, like this building right here. Wasn't there? Am I losing my mind? I mean, that's a rhetorical question, of course I am, but still, like, I swear there was another enclave around here or something. Oh my gosh, like. That's what I thought these people were. But I don't know you. I don't know you, Kfish. I don't know you, Deli. Or who's this? Addy. Hey, a friendly face. Sounds just like Marlin. And Maddie. Maddie, meet Addy. Addy, Maddie. Seriously. <laughs> we'll see you guys around. Or maybe not. I don't know who you are. Where you came from. Or if you're gonna be there again. Good luck. Thanks for the energy drink. Now we got business to uphold. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I do who they are. That was ridiculous. Like, I swear there was... I thought about getting the Devil May Cry reboot game. Oh, really? You know what? I haven't... Pl I've never played a Devil May Cry game. I never have. I'm taking the shortcut here. So I kind of want to sneak in. Oh, look at that. There's a... Port over there. My gosh, get away from the car. Right, we're gonna park over here. So we can Shut up. Quiet down, you zombies. Give them the old Negan bat. Yeah, I never played Devil May Cry. I mean, I've heard good things about them. I just don't even, like, I don't know why. They never, like, interested me that much. I'm sure I'd like them if I played them. Definitive Edition for $15. That's a good price. I do like when they sometimes re-release games with, like, improved graphics and all, like, the DLC and stuff for cheaper. Like the Dishonored one. Stuff like that. I know they did one for like a Tomb Raider game. They did it for like I kind of want to get the Sleeping Dogs one on Xbox One because I love that game. But I'm so attached to the 360 version that I don't know if I'd want to do that. I wish I could stream that game, but it doesn't work on Xbox One because they want you to buy it again. I love Sleeping Dogs. Sleeping Dogs could be one of my top 25 games of all time. Like I really, really love that game. I think the biggest thing for me about Sleeping Dogs is that it, as you can see, we completed the bounty with the police sniper rifle. We'll have to go pick that up. We got it. Maddie was there to get us home there. Um, but the thing about Sleeping Dogs that it, uh, I like the most is probably because it's, um, I just, it holds a lot of sentimental value for me because I just remember playing it a lot 
one summer. Like literally God, like every I'm night so I would plague zombies. I would go and play and that would be like my thing. Listening to Frank music and playing that game. And it just really really helped me out a lot throughout that summer. Was, oh shoot, they just appeared in front of me. What am I supposed to do there? There's hordes all around. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. This plague heart from hell is the worst. I can't stand it anymore. It's gotta die. Oh my gosh, there's like there's plague zombies everywhere. Like everywhere. This up. I'm buying everyone a beer. I will run out of here if I have to though. I'm not getting either of these killed. Lindsay was stupid though. Shadow Wolf uh bought the standard edition when it came out two years ago. Now there's the definitive edition. Yeah. So they, I mean, that's how they, they get you with more money, too. It's, like, kind of annoying if you already own the game. You know. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no! I'm gonna have to fight off a bunch of zombies before we even get to the Plague Heart. Get him, Miguel. Nice. Alright. Get down. Let's go. Got a bit of a path now. <sighs> Gotta be smart about this. This box mine better work too now, like... And the, the freaking Molotov better not end up in the corner somewhere. Away from where I was aiming. <laughs> So many plague zombies around. It's literally like unfair. The nightmare zone. I do not want to go there because if it's it's gonna be like this times three or two or three. Let's check this case right here actually. See what there is. Not exactly what I wanted, but It'll do. <laughs> Transmission mace. I kind of want that. I do. Let me drop that and I'll pick this up. Let me see what this thing's about. <gasps> Dang, look at this thing. We've never found one of these before. Looks like it could do some real damage. She's got the crazy weapons now. All right, here we go. Smell we've discovered. Oh, that's right. There's an ammo rucksack. We'll grab that. She's got a few things on her, too. I kind of want that knife, too. Darn it! We'll clear out these ones. We should be okay for a bit. Just don't attract more. Don't attract more! They're all coming in. Miguel, look out. I gotta get out of here. Get up, up the ladder again. Please stay down the ladder. For God's sake, just get up here. Get up here, Miguel. Miguel! Ah, darn it. They don't, they don't listen to you. They just, like, run away. What are they doing? They're all gonna come in now, Miguel. Oh, there's no way we can take all this on. Miguel, follow me. Miguel, get up the ladder, for crying out loud. Get up here. Miguel, get up here. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, stay up here now, please. Look out. I gotta throw this. Oh my gosh. I blocked it. Oh my gosh. You know what? We're out of here. We're out of here. I'm not... Th I hate this plague heart. It really is the plague heart from hell. Why can't I throw a Molotov in there? 
Why is Miguel Loaders. and everybody being Sounds such idiots? You know what? I'm gonna send him away. I'm just gonna try and do it myself. Screw this. Oh my gosh, everything's going wrong. I hate this plague heart. I hate it with a passion. This is my least favorite plague heart we've ever had to deal with. Oh my gosh. And now I'm gonna get the plague. Oh my lord. Catching the plague would really cramp my style. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Right. Put that in there. Miguel. Get back. Oh my gosh, Miguel, stop going off. There needs to be a stay with me command. Like, there needs to be. If any developer for some reason watches this video, please, for the love of God, please make a command button to get your character to stay with you at all costs. Because they get themselves killed when they go off like that. Alright. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There, and he rolls right into the thing. Like, what are you doing? I shot it from a distance so you didn't have to deal with that. Yeah. Alright, Miguel. Get out of here. Go back home. Get out of here. Stay safe. Not risking your life because you're being an idiot. Getting low on that. Now I don't even know if we can take it on now. I mean, he like stood right in front of me when I was trying to throw that... That Molotov, like, seriously. I'm gonna have to do this alone. That way, if something does go bad, I can just run away and know I'm gonna have to babysit somebody. Ugh. But the amount of zombies around this thing is insane. Like, it's not even fair. Oh, here comes a screamer now. Gotta get him dead. Go, 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 go. Ah! Oh, my God. Now here comes a feral. Alright. Time to run. Up the ladder. Up the ladder. No! Get up the ladder. Please get up the ladder. This is ridiculous. You're all dead. You're all dead. I'm, I hate this. <laughs> I hate this plague art. I can't get up the ladder. What is she doing? Oh my gosh, they keep... I gotta get me a doctor. Or I need a priest. Jack Frost. Oh, I remember that movie. <laughs> Michael Keaton, right? I think that's a Michael Keaton movie. And I'm out. I'm out of health things too. Like this is this is so stupid. Like beyond stupid. This whole plague heart is just literally everything that could go wrong. Let me throw this. That sure left a mark. Wow, it actually went where I wanted it to go. How about that? How about that? It's destroyed? Yes! It is the one with Michael Keaton, okay. Yeah, I remember that movie. I saw that a long time ago, I think. Thank goodness this plague heart's dead, but now here come the zombies. I gotta get out of here, though. My best bet might be to jump over this. Run to the car. Let's do this. She's got this leg too. Look at it, 25 minutes from, from death. She's got to get in and not get bit again. Come on, Maddie. Get in there. Oh my gosh. Go, go, go! We did it. Oh my gosh, that was not easy. That was like, that was such an annoying plague heart for no reason. I need to get her home now. Gotta get home. 
Hopefully Miguel made it back. We'll go collect our bounty after we get home. I just want to get her home. Cure her, first and foremost. Because if she took another bite or two from any more plague zombies, she's a goner. This is Maddie we're talking about here. This is serious. That's why I sent Miguel home. I was like, I'm not fooling around with that crap again. He's going to survive, so i got to just send him home and do it myself. And we did it. Molotov actually went where I wanted it to go. So did the uh, frag grenade. Thank goodness. A few shots with the uh, Wolverine and bang. Down it goes. Our biggest problem right now, besides her health, is are we going to be able to make it home with the gas that we have? Because if we get stalled anywhere, Big, big trouble. Alright, we need to take this next little left coming up right about here. Yeah, it's that time of year where there's nothing but like Christmas movies on every channel. <laughs> Some kind of Christmas themed movie, you know? Right now we're just hoping Maddie makes it to Christmas. This. We should make it home. We should. Yeah, oh yeah, easily. We're easily gonna make it home. It's like we're a lot closer than I thought we were. <sighs> Worst thing that can happen is like we hit something or something hits us car like explodes and then like we get like mauled by freaking plague zombies then that's it Maddie's dead our luck there'll be a horde of plague zombies waiting right outside our door here we did pick up an ammo rucksack too we can't oh can we deposit that actually to the base. There we go. Alright, we're going, Maddie. Come on. She's here. Hey, Miguel should be I'm back, home. too. Get in there. I'm not losing our leader. This is why she's our leader. She goes there, she takes care of business by herself. She's like, I don't care. Go home, Miguel. I got this. I don't know if we have a pl any plague cures. Let me go see before I c use up resources to craft one. <sighs> that was intense, guys. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty intense. Because I was worried about Miguel there. Like, the same thing was going to happen. The fact that he blocked my Molotov. Like, oh my lord. Like, he stood right in front of me when I went to throw it. And I was like, oh my gosh. I got coffee here with me. Good cup of coffee. All I could afford today was a cup of coffee, so I got myself a cup of coffee. Don't see any plague cures. Oh, there is one. Alright, good. We will use that right away. Uh, KFC. Yeah, I love KFC, actually. <laughs> At least like some of their I have their little chicken snacker sandwiches. They got new fries. I didn't know that. I have not had them. But next time I go there, I'm definitely going to try them. They're absolutely delish. Says uh, Ghost. So I guess we got to try those KFC fries. Because I like the potato wedges. I love their mashed potatoes. Love their chicken snackers. Sandwiches. Their uh... They're Nashville hot like chicken like sandwiches. Oh my gosh. They're chicken fries. Oh yes. Definitely down. I'm getting. I'm so hungry now. Thank you, Ghost. Talking about Salisbury steak and K 
KFC and mashed potatoes. I'm gonna have to make... I don't have, like, anything here to make for food. I have, like, soup. I'm eating soup now. I eat everything else I have. Super pasta, I think. Alright, so actually, let's heal her up a bit, too. Oh, Maddie, you're alive, thank goodness. She can keep the rest of that stuff. She can keep one of the crossbows, might as well. Um, there we go, and let's go put her to rest. Who do I use now? I'm like worried about everybody I use now. I use Vinay, I guess. Good old Vinay and her little lizard hoodie. Since she's our scouter, we'll send her out at night and to collect hey, that bounty. All this noise is gonna bring a lot of zombies. Just, you know, FYI. So we can also start another bounty. The Juggernaut one's going to take a bit, so I mean obviously the rounds and the bolts is just like going to take us forever. But those bounties should switch over to uh, any map that we move to or whatever. So, like I'm thinking of moving as early as next episode. Might not happen, but it might, you know, could happen as early, early as ep next episode for us to go back to that second map. Food for day, food per day, meds per day, let's do the food, definitely the food. We need fuel too, my goodness, do we need fuel. <sighs> Food's not great. Ammo and, and health is pretty good there. The materials are okay, but it's just like that. The fuel thing is really... Because we need to take out fuel to get there. There's no way for us to, uh... To craft fuel other than the food. The still. Oh shoot, I didn't want to do that. I think that costs like five rucksacks of food or something ridiculous, which we really can't afford to do. Right now. Might have to sacrifice and get it like a, um, a fuel outpost at the moment. Okay, oh, three food into into fuel. I guess we can do that for now. We'll do that for now. <sighs> it's gonna take about 13 minutes, but just to get a few more rucksacks of fuel in there. What about our out? Posts. I mean, maybe ditch the med one for fuel one, because uh, we're pretty good with meds and we can always create meds here. So I think what we're gonna have to do is abandon that one. Ooh. See if there's anything along the way that we can claim as a fuel outpost. <sighs> Doesn't really look like it. Fuel collection right there, Bronto gas. That should give us fuel. What's going on over here? Look at this. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to be the plan here. Go get that fuel outpost. I don't know what that loud noise was. I gotta uh, roll out for a bit. 
It's actually so close to the point where we can just walk over there right now, then we'll take the car. Um, to the uh, bounty broker. His treatments work wonders, but damn do they make you jittery. Worse than a cat. <laughs> At least they help with your breathing. Come on, Vinay. Of course, there's like a horde and a half right around where I need to go. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Just want to claim this as an outpost, that's all. There's going to be a hundred thousand zombies running around it for no reason. Nothing's easy today, is it? <laughs> they got inside. Pretty sure I'm going to have to clear out all these zombies too to even claim this as an outpost. They're probably going to make me do that. This place is outpost material for sure. We get in. Don't let your guard down yet. Sight not secure. Yep, I knew it. They're gonna make me kill everything. Great. There's one down. Nope, nothing in here. There's like nothing in the building, they're all outside of it. Okay, <laughs> now we can claim what it looks like. So this gives us one fuel per day. We're good. The new outpost is now secure. All right, so let's take a look at the numbers now. I see a bunch of zombies heading our way, but this shouldn't be a problem. The power outpost is giving is losing. Oh, we're losing two fuel per day with that. That's right. So we're still losing fuel every day, even with this outpost. That is not good. <laughs> we're going to need to find fuel, too. Some fuel, uh... Hey, I bet Let's just do that, see if they can find us a fuel rucksack spot. anywhere near. I've got people working on your request right now. Well, thanks for that. Now let's get back home. Well, there's going to be a zombie threat. And uh, where's the fuel? Garcia. Huh. You know what, I think we might stop there. That's going to be along the way of the bounty broker. We should go there, too. But where are they asking us to go for fuel? All the way up there? Oh my gosh. Look how dangerous it is over there. we got to get off this map. Let's 
get back home. I got an offer you want to hear. How about we meet up? When this is all said and done, Red Talon's gonna be the guys who put it all back together. No, we are, Bear. We're the ones fighting and helping the communities out here. Red Talon are coming in with supplies and stuff. I mean, they are helping us locate stuff, so I guess that's something. They're like the watchtower. But we can do this. Alright, so we have to fend off some zombies before we go. What's up, Juma? Our next stop will be Garcia, who's right along the way. Where are we going to be traveling? Let's see if there's anything we want to bring to trade with. What a bag of chocolate chips. Just crush a few more skulls and we win. Get rid of the champagne too. I'm not much of a champagne drinker. Trade some of this stuff we can trade. These water coolers too, I suppose. Here they come. Oh, those videos, Ghost. Yeah, nobody knows what those are about. The thumbs down one was kind of just like a funny whatever, you know. I was just like, I didn't care at that point. Let's see how many thumbs downs we could get. I have seven thumbs down on that video. It's great. People follow suit. The other one, I have no idea. Like, the final straw. <laughs> I was thinking of making, like, a song, like, yeah, leading up to those. Or no, like, after, like, all those videos. Like, posting a few more, but... No. They probably won't stay up forever. I was mostly just having a really bad day and I was like, oh, I'll post a stupid video about thumbs down and see how many thumbs down we get. That's the end of that. Alright, now we can leave. So let me make sure she's all geared up and ready to go. Repair that. <sighs> she's got some supplies. She's not she's just gonna be in the car, so we're gonna go trade. Hopefully. And then hit up the Nobody bounty broker to collect our police soon. sniper rifle that maybe she should use since she is a scouter. It'd be perfect for her. Alright, so Garcia. Gosh, of course there's a horde right here. See if she's got anything good. She's like right here, huh? There's two people here. Garcia, and then we got this dude. Ruiz. Oh, wait, no, that's somebody. There's three of them here. They're from Red Talon. We got Chandler. Kind of reminds me of what's his name from uh, Heartland, the guy that we used at the end that took out everything. What was his name? Can't remember. Garcia, and then there's Ruiz. Hello there. Talk to your commander. Come back, Ruiz. Dang. Just run away from me. Chandler. 
Wish I could take all of you in my community. Wait, where is Garcia? Found out a creative way for my future ones. Have like an oral disclaimer whenever I stream. Yeah, I mean that might, might be good too. I don't know if we have to do that, but it's probably this might be safe. Feel comfortable doing that? I would definitely do it. I'm not gonna. I think I'm just gonna mark up my videos as best as I can. Nothing I do is meant for kids, but I can see where some of my videos would be watched by kids, like some of my Disneyland Adventures playthrough videos. Sure, you know, it's got Mickey Mouse on the thumbnails. You know, on my Disney Magic Kingdom. So yeah, why wouldn't they? But I play a lot of games that aren't for kids, and it's just like none of my content is directed for kids. I don't even make money on here, so I don't even have ads, anyways. So, you want to make a deal? Oh, they have fuel! Ho ho ho! How lucky is that? They got two rucksacks of fuel. I'm gonna take all this stuff. Oh, what is this? Case of stabilizing foam. We don't know what that is. We're gonna get it. Probably don't need more guns, even though they're very. Grenades might be good too. I want. Day, I want all this stuff. Run. I'm gonna get all these rucksacks. I think. Oh my gosh! We don't have to go over there and find fuel now. It's right there. I'm actually gonna use this right now too. Gonna do it via PS4, yeah. Yeah, I saw your disclaimer in your uh, Dying Light video, like on the uh, description there. FTC dis disclaimer. Like, I don't know, like, I'm just gonna mark up my videos whether they're for kids or not, you know? And just, you know, if I think that maybe, you know, sure, a kid can watch it. You know, if I do that though, aren't my comments gonna disappear from those videos? My Disneyland Adventure ones? Which is a shame because people have left some really great comments and have asked questions and it helped me out as well. It kinda just like breaks up the community aspect of the whole thing. Rated for everyone. Yeah, like there like there needs to be like a general audience, of course, like no, I'm not meant for kids. No, I'm not meant just for adults, but, you know. It's like, people aren't going to do just one thing or the other. That's basically what they are they were trying to, like, make it be. Which is really stupid. But we don't know. There's still... It'll all be explained on the 9th. We'll see what happens. You know. you you for now, I'm going to carry on as usual. I've been slowly marking we'll up my videos. We're gonna buy this. Like, I'm gonna get that ammo too, I think. They keep running around, like just stay in one spot for crying out loud. We're open to a swap if you are. Sure. A swap. Swap meet. Meet up later at the swap meet. Okay, that was good. That was actually a really good stop to get all that. And we still get to go collect our, our rifle. I mean, that was we lucked out there to get those two rucksacks of fuel like that. Like, that's exactly what we needed. We didn't even have to go way off the map to get it either. Like I said, I don't mind spending the influence on stuff because we. Influence isn't even like a. It's like not even a thought anymore when you think about it. Or when you don't think about it. Early on in this playthrough, I remember like influence, like we didn't have enough to get certain things. We would have to be careful about what we spend it on. But uh, the more we've gone here, just so rich in influence that it's just, it doesn't, money's no object right now. We don't spend our influence that often either, so. Do not mind splurging a bit here. It's about the only holiday shopping I can afford to do right about now. <laughs> so there we go. Do, 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 
Where is he? He's like up there. Oh, that zombie went flying off my car. <laughs> like Ava did that one time. There he is. Give me my. Let's talk we about bounties, yo. Quite a wide variety, indeed. Give me that. Thank you. All right. I kind of want like clothing now. We go after. We are going after uh, a juggernaut I mask. To it. How about the tattered suit? Which is, um, what's his name? From Heartland. What do we have to do to get that? Four enclave. Get four enclaves to allied status. Oof. Destroy five play cards with explosives. That's a tough one. Recruit three survivors. Yeah, I'd love to do that. This is all from the Trouble Valley pack. How about the fearsome footage? Anything? Go back, World War II pack. Like they're still gonna be adding more stuff in there. We can get anything from there with influence. Critical response. What's in the fearsome footage still? Skeleton hoodie. We should go after that. Kill 300 zombies with fire. We need to make a ton of Molotovs and whatnot, but let's do that one. That might be fun. You had best be well prepared for this. Be well prepared for this. Guess we will. What's odd is none of my streamers, my stream showed up with Coppa Center. I'm gonna continue as usual on there. Yeah, I don't know. It's the whole thing is still like weird. I don't think anybody completely understands it. And I'm no lawyer or anything, so I can't really. I don't really know all the details of it that well. But now I'm gonna try not to just not to worry about it, you know. If I end up, you know, deciding to take my channel down or or my channel gets deleted then it's gonna suck, but it is what it is, I don't know. Cause this channel is like it really helps me out. Like, you know, it's a good sanctuary for me. And it gives uh, a lot of the, the games and the, the stuff I do purpose, you know, to a certain extent. It's not everything to me, but it's, it's, uh, it certainly help, it helps me uh, scratch my creative itch. Good way to share my music as well. Anyways. So we got that done. That's pretty good. Should we get back? Still wants us to scavenge for fuel there. Let's get this fuel back home. Get everybody back home safe. Wow, look at all these. A zombies over there. Take a right here, then I think we take a left. Right up here, yep. Yeah. When we think about how much content is on YouTube, how much is uploaded like every minute. They said it would take the average person 80 years to watch like everything that's uploaded in like a day or something like that. So it's like they're not going to be able to go over every little thing, every little word that's been said. I think they're going to look a lot of a lot of things at face value, which is kind of annoying, but also understand that you know, 
grown-ups are going to be posting things that may look like it's for kids, but isn't meant for kids because they're into it too, you know. I think they're going to be a little more lenient than we think. Because otherwise, it'll like end YouTube as it was initially thought to be. Like, it'll be like the end of YouTube and all that. Like, it'd be stupid for them to do that. So. Oh, crap. Look at that horde right there. Help me out here. Down he goes. That's a thick helmet. There we go. Because they're directly not being uploaded onto YouTube. It's because they're coming from a stream service, perhaps? P PS4 and Xboxes are mainly using YouTube for storage. Yeah, I mean, it's it's true, because, like, you know, your videos, when they're uploaded, they stay there, you know. It's like, you can't hold it all on your computer or on your systems or whatever. Um, like, that's what I do, you know, I can't hold all the videos I've recorded on my computer. I have to delete a bunch every now and then. The only series I still have completely intact that are, like, long-running series are Disneyland Adventures and State of Decay 2. I think those are the only ones that I still have, like, that were actually, like, a long, long series. I still have some of my other smaller series, like, still all intact, but a lot of stuff I get rid of once after I, like, complete the series. Because it's all on YouTube, so it's like, I don't need to keep it on my computer. So you're absolutely right about that. Alright, the fuel. Let's get the fuel in there. Ah, oh, that's gonna feel good right there, all those deposits there. Very nice. Ah, oh, look at that. Fuel's up to 11 now. Looking good. Looking good. Food? Yeah, not great. But we have our farms. Early morning here. So if an A did well there, we got this sniper rifle. Let's see what this thing can do. Here it is. Came equipped with ammo and everything. Alright. Here we go. Bang! First shot, down he goes. He was on the move too. Very nice. Ah, Vinay can use this because being our scouter, this is going to be perfect for her. You have a local streaming service called Igloo. Never heard of that one, obviously, since it's local for you. These plague hearts are really messing with the neighborhood. Can we clear them out? I know there's a lot of plague hearts, but we're going to be leaving this map. And like I said, as early as next episode. I just really want, like, an, just a change of scenery, try out a new, new base, new challenge. I think our, we've ridden this base for what it is. It's a great base. Like I said, probably the best one we've ever had and may ever have. But, you know, maybe somewhere down the line we'll end up back here, you know. 
I like to try out different bases, see which ones work, which ones don't. Because they always, those stupid, like, generic bases we had. Like, our very first base, just that, that random house. 58, 60 bucks a month, just about? Wow. That's streaming service. Could do the gardening study too eventually, but uh, yeah. So he's saying goodbye to this uh, this home very soon. I'm gonna go over to Griffith and grab some stuff from him. Cause I don't know if we grabbed all of his stuff or not yet. This stabilizing foam, military-grade emergency medical gear. Install this mod in infirmary to gain the ability to quickly recover health. That could be very useful. And I forget, totally forgot to trade the stuff that I wanted to trade. What an idiot. <laughs> I was too excited to find that fuel. I she can keep that gun too, I guess. Alright, let's go on foot and see if I left anything else on Griffith that I might want. These bounties are gonna take a while now. Like, I don't even know like when the next one is. We're gonna do. We're gonna complete here. Ten juggernauts. Doesn't get any emptier than this. I mean, we're not looking to mess with juggernauts at all. So, it's basically, when they come to us and we have to fight them, and burning 300 zombies is gonna take a while. I still think the crafting of the rounds and the bolts will probably be the one that we finish last. But I'm not going to be quite as stealth going up to zombies now because since I don't have to be that bounty. A little parkour here from Benet. They're mad because we didn't go there and get fuel, but we already got the fuel that we needed for now. Yeah, come on, bring it on. Nice, nice try there, buddy. Oh, dang! All right, Danae's not messing around. Where did Griffith die, anyways? He did not die out here, did he? There's a feral nearby. He's got Let's standard bolts. Plague samples will take. Even take the snacks. <sighs> take the take the weapon. If anything, we can like break it down for parts. Igloo fiber internet, perfect for gaming. Oh, hmm. Pretty fast then, I suppose. Back with Vinay. 
And I remember like early on in the series when I was like sneaking around everywhere, like so scared to like fight anything. Because <laughs> I still needed to know how the game was going to work, you know, you need to get comfortable with the game. They go through AT&T. Yeah, I'd never heard of that service before. Igloo. What if they're gonna add anything like, cool? Like they should add like some like Christmas, um, like aesthetics for the holidays. Like that'd be cool if they added like a, a Santa hat or something. You know, Christmas light sweatshirt. You know, it's just something. You know, maybe an ugly Christmas sweater or something for like the characters to wear that you can get. That'd be cool for an update for this. I don't know if they're going to release another update this year. I wouldn't expect it because they've added a lot of stuff, but that would be cool just to give it a Christmas feel. generation unless we do whatever's necessary to stay alive. <laughs> Ain't gonna be another generation. Look at this team. Battered and bruised we are. That graveyard is mighty crowded. But we'll never forget the fallen. Not even Mary. We literally lasted like five minutes. <laughs> Poor Mary. She never even had a chance to show what she could do. Stay control of Bear. Because we might be him next episode. There he is. Also do web design and development. Oh! I know nothing about web design of any kind. I wish to use one of those like free web design like websites where you could just like create your own website back in the day it was like so cheap and so generic I didn't know what I was doing but some of my brothers are like pretty good with graphic designing stuff and, and my, one of my brothers had designed his own like website that he uses for a lot of stuff it was pretty neat I don't know if he still act is active on it or not though because he's a producer. This is a sniper too. This one's pretty good. This is a heavy duty gun though. So I'm going to marvel at the views here. Pretty great. Alright, that is gonna how I'm going to end this episode, guys, because uh, I don't really know what else to do here, because I'm pretty sure we may be packing up and leaving very soon. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Ghost, thank you for coming in on the stream. Uh, Beantown Hero, I know you were here earlier, too. Anybody else watching, thank you so much. Um, appreciate the support, everybody. As always, hope you enjoy enjoyed this, this uh, pretty crazy episode. We got rid of that Plague Heart from Hell. It's gone. It's finally dead. It was an annoying one, but we did it. Um, and I'll see you all in the next part. If you're on Twitch right now, I might stream again soon. I'm not sure I'm going to, but uh, we'll see. Uh, seem tonight as in tonight. I don't know if I will, but I might try to, to record something else because I haven't been doing it too much 
Uh, no, I haven't seen the medieval one. I watched your dying light. Uh, some of your dying light one. I haven't seen the medieval. I need to check that one out. Um, until next time, everybody. Zero is the number.